that's fucking crispy. <laughs> 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 Hey, suck my balls YouTube. Today we're going to be looking at the weird and wacky world of boomer humor. I'm joined by the very funny and very enigmatic Sumito Media. Hey, what's going on? Sumito creates fantastic meme related content. How would you describe your channel, Sumito? Um, I like to consider myself the uh, late night talk show host of YouTube. Now what a lot of people don't know about you is that you also have an insatiable lust for MILFs. And I feel like there's a good crossover there between MILFs and memes, which is boomer humor. Right. So I reckon today we try our hardest to create the most authentic boomer memes Facebook page that we possibly can. So first of all, we need to research boomer Facebook pages. So from what I've seen from preliminary scouting is they seem to use a lot of very basic words a lot of ha-has, a lot of hee-hees, a lot of funny, right. and a lot of memes. I think those are the big keywords. There's one just called funny. I don't know if that's a bit on the nose. You reckon all of these are boomer meme pages or they're just easy enough to tell apart? Boomer is obviously a specific age range thing, but I believe boomer humor, I think it transcends age. Cause I think, I know people my age who share boomer memes, but I think they're just trashy people. Yeah, boomer is definitely a state of mind. Yeah, like shit like this. There's no level of irony to it. <laughs> it's all just like one level of humor. Yeah, it's like the first thing you think of and they're just like, yeah, print it. This isn't even a meme. A baby wouldn't say that. I was never that articulate as a baby. This is the kind of energy I want to put into our page. You got shitty stock image of what may as well be a, a knockoff Looney Tunes character. It's possibly the most compressed JPEG I've ever seen. And then a shitty quote that is not actually that funny, but they act like it is. What's your star sign, Kudos? What kind of ass are you? I'm a snappy ass. I'm a Scorpio. How about you? I'm a, I'm a confused ass. I've seen this image before and the and the worm is not in it. They added that for some reason. <laughs> they fucking George Lucas did. They were like, who if an idiot made this? Needs it needs the worm in it. Yeah, but why? What is it adding to this? What does this image have to do with this quote? You pick the one animal that's perfectly capable of jumping up pretty goddamn high. This entire premise makes no sense. They are they're also very caught up on the whole political correctness thing. Uh, so there's a lot of people being like, hey, if you don't like what I'm posting, you can fucking kill yourself. <laughs> and it's like, okay, <laughs> sure. So here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? We could just search up boomer memes, but I worry that the pages are going to be like run by people our age and just pulling memes that they feel feels like boomer memes. Now, it's good you mentioned that because I actually did some uh, field research yesterday and came up with some uh, some spicy ones of my own. Uh, look at the research done by many kudos. How are you guys not subscribing after this? Best ones I've found that I believe are run by genuine boomers. Uh, there's one called Auntie Acid and one called Grumpy Old Gits. Those sound real. And this other one I found before called Redneck Nation. Just how fast could that kid have been going? I think that's a good one. That's a good boomer meme. Taking a, a, an already funny picture and ruining it with a caption. No way that kid survived that. <laughs> He's wrapped around the pole. Two captions and two watermarks. Yeah, I thought the culture of watermarking was just gone. I didn't think people did that shit anymore. Hit like if you grew up near woods and used to explore for hours without adult supervision. What are we worried about here? Are people being adult supervised while running through the woods now? There's ones that I, I, I've been holding off on going to. They're not, again, they're not technically boomer memes. They're not by people who are boomers, but they they continue their energy. Uh, there's there's one here. Uh, Harley Quinn and Joke of Madness, sweet but psycho. There you go. I was a toy to you. You play with me all the time, but when you found out I was broken, you threw me away. I mean, that's how toys work. What? Hi, I'm new here. Oh, that's a good one. A real man will spoil you with respect, loyalty, affection, honesty, full commitment, and unconditional love. You're setting the bars really fucking high here, guys. <laughs> You're setting the bars awfully high for someone posting to Harley Quinn and Joker Madness, sweet but psycho. What's the name we want to call this? We could go two ways with this. We could do something that makes people think that it's boomer related. Or it could just be something completely out of left field. Fucking women after 30. I like women after 30. I felt there's something there. I'm also a really big fan of the really long ones. Joker and Harley Quinn, sweet but psycho. Well, just call it Joker and Harley Quinn. Does that scream? <laughs> Funny ha-has and hee-hees so Perfect. people to have a good giggle or a laugh at when you're feeling down and out. 
for women over 30. Perfect. Oh, motherfucker, it's too long. It's got a 20 word limit. What? 20 word limit? <laughs> 20 words. We now have an official meme page. A smile when you're down. Haha's and he he's for women over 30. Also, we can't change that name. Uh, we need a profile picture. I reckon we make one real quick. Yeah. You do the banner and uh, and then I'll make the profile picture. Let's do Jennifer Aniston. Okay. I like it. Because that's a, that's a woman over 30. We need Grandma from the Looney Tunes. Can you liquefy her face a little bit? Just a little bit. Yeah, of course I can. I know how to do that. I'm a YouTuber. You know what? Fuck it. Thanos <laughs> Aniston. That's what we're going with. <laughs> it started happening, and now it's happening. And then we need to add in Daria. Boom. Daria from Daria. I like what you did. There's one thing, though. Um, you didn't put six watermarks on it, so I'm just going to fix that real quick. What is uh, what is our stupid page called again? God, I've already fucking forgot. <laughs> I think we really pushed the limits for what's acceptable for watermarks. Yeah. I mean, well, first of all, we have to have ten. Oh, that looks authentic. Yeah, that looks like a watermark font. So I put this one sideways in case you're you're looking at it on your on your phone and you drop your phone. Yeah, obviously. Now we need a profile picture. I did have an idea, but it's a bit controversial. What do you got? <laughs> that is hold on. I kind of want to take this wily coyote one and just crop it. I almost want him to catch the Roadrunner now. What happens next? I don't know if there really screams women over 30, though. If they could see the full image, it would be. There we go. Is that, that seems like a good crop to me. Perfect. Do birds even have dicks? I don't really know enough about bird anatomy. Um, they have eggs. All right, let's make some some flippin' memes. What's something that's, like, I think almost universally considered to be shitty, but they would probably be, like, kind of proud of? Yeah, yeah. I've got a perfect one. So you take a picture of Homer choking Bart, and you caption it with like if you can't beat your kids anymore yeah something that's, like see that. exactly <laughs> let's get this this is like literally record on someone's tv so i feel like that's the screenshot we want to use yeah it should be a ridiculous convoluted call to action though now what's something really stupid add this to your google plus circle <laughs> if <laughs> something like that and also please like and share on fb and forward via gmail note I think you can use Hotmail too, but I haven't <laughs> tried. Please let me know if it works. Thanks. Perfect. And if possible, share on FB. I know I said that already, but it's really important if you do that one. What? <laughs> what but what's, what's the point where you're trying to make it? If you... No, that should be on the bottom though. And a, yeah, it's, it's not just like you survived. It's like it's like it was good for you. Yeah, and you're better for it. That's a boomer meme if I've ever seen one. My daddy used to strangle me daily, and I used to love every second of it. <laughs> Kids these days could use a good strangling. Hashtag beat your space kids. <laughs> Hashtag strangling. <laughs> what one jumped out at you? Shit, those those pseudo motivational ones where it's like. The sun always comes up, why don't you? Or some dumb shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> Should I look up some, some horrible motivational quotes? Ooh, that might be good, yeah. With the new day comes new strengths and new thoughts. Eleanor Roosevelt. That's such a shit quote. I think we could use that and just butcher it a bit. Please to help what comes with the new day. I am lost. New strengths and new thought. A classic quote from the late, great Eleanor Roosevelt. Rose of, Rose of. The image sits fine by itself, but they need to just like reiterate it for no reason. Yeah, give it a every 24 hours, a new 24 hours takes place. Take care. It just says take care. What's the caption on this one going to be? My child was born with an abnormally large head. The doctor said he would only live to be seven years old. But after further consideration and research, it was found that we had forgotten to remove the helmet. Oh, this one's already done for me. <laughs> oh, we need to do a minion meme. Oh, of course we do. All right, I can handle that. Hold on. I can long. Yes. Yeah, let's make you wide. Got the colors. Now, minion memes are always disgusting. I don't know if you knew this about minion memes. Yeah. But they're gross. They're literally just... Haha, ha, I farted, and then it's a minion with its eyes and its ass or something stupid. <laughs> Jesus. Mottos to use condoms. From MTV, no less. Here we go. 
condom slogan. If you're not gonna sack it, go home and whack it. There you go. If you're not gonna sack it. <laughs> That's it. That's it. And now save it out as a JPEG with the lowest, the, the lowest compression quality possible. I want this thing to be fucking fried. What have I done? There we go. That's fucking crispy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Don't forget the watermark. Stunning. Boom. That's a fucking meme. Who not gonna sack it? Go home and whack I. Just saw this meme on. Just saw this meme on. Uh, funnygames.biz. <laughs> Games.biz.gov. And it really spoke to me. Kids today need to wrap that stiffy, otherwise, they're gonna be spraying kids out like the Mississippi River. We also haven't really done one that's been like overly, I guess this one was kind of sexual, but like as you'll find a lot of boomer memes, they're fucking disgusting. Yeah, it's cause they're like, I'm not a kid anymore and kids can't be reading this. So this must be for me, but in reality it's for nobody. Yeah, I, it's for like fucking weird amoeba people who like live under the sea or some shit. I don't know who enjoys those. What's your vagina's name or something? You know, there's always those stupid things floating around. And then it could be like based on your birth month. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a good one. And that's a, that's a great thing for women over thirty as well. I'm sure they get a kick out of that. It's the month you're born and the third letter of your middle name. The, you do the first six months, and I'll do the second six months, and we'll do a review. This is your vagina's name. This is the first half of your vagina's name. All right, there's <laughs> my. <son. laughs> <They all> saw... <laughs> and flower. All right, so now we have to do the third letter of your second name. All right, I've got mine 13. Boom. <laughs> Potato sale lives in the sun. Nobody has an X in their name, so I'm skipping this. Just for fun, what's your, what is your vagina name? So I would be the Snag Curtains. <laughs> That's all right. That sounds like a vagina name. I'm, I'm the Snag Ramparts. Beefy Curtains would be, would be a perfect one. I mean, no fucking way I got beefy curtains out of this test. Blue for this one, a nice off lavender. Yeah, that looks right. Uh, for inspiration, I sent you a Batman name generator. <laughs> what? Mine's Batman. Oh, sick! Mine too! Who makes these? What weird Jesus. goblin man is making these? Oh, that looks legit. There we go. I'm happy with that. The first word that comes to mind is legible. <laughs> That's what I strive for in all of my posts. Just a bit of Friday fun for you. <laughs> Mine's... Thick curtains, what's yours? <laughs> we have to say ones that aren't even on it, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mine's Queen Elizabeth. What's Mine's, yours? Yeah, Queen Lizzie out on the town. What's yours? Sorry if this is a bit rude. Haha, <laughs> just, just thought it was a bit of fun. Great. Well, I think this is uh, kind of everything I've wanted and more. No, I think we'd made, I think we made some legitimate boomer-esque memes yeah here. i feel uh, significantly older and uh, a lot more entitled be sure to go check out sumito's channel he puts in the hard yards to provide you with the best meme related content on the internet i'll be putting a link in the description to his channel and also spray painting one on a wall near my house ah uh, you're too kind kudos thank you Alrighty, well i'm gonna go kill myself <laughs> So to give a special thanks to my $10 patrons, John, Tom Videoga, Tabor TCU, Ryan the Filmmaker, Sergio Palsis, Anzonia, and Amanda Nicole.